Where do you dig new cars? Where do you dig mink coats? Where does the audience at home dig right along with you and win the same fabulous prizes? On the Blue Atlantic, from the Colonnades Beach Hotel in Palm Beach Shores, Florida, it's the exciting outdoor game show, Treasure Island. Treasure is yours. And now here's your host of Treasure Isle, John Bartholomew Tucker. Well, hello there. Oh, hey, I, I want to read you something. We have a lot of riddles that are sent in in the mail, and I'd like to thank all of you folks who take the time to write them up and send them in, but we never use them, and there's a very good reason why. Uh, let me read you one uh, sent in by a lady in Boston. Here's a riddle for our show. It reads as follows. New York never... Chicago never, St. Louis never, Los Angeles never. And the answer is Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, he was never in any of those places. <laughs> and that's the reason we have uh, what we call professional riddle writers on the show. Welcome to Treasure Isle. Here's how the game is played. Our couples compete against each other, of course. They pick up pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle in bay number one, assemble it on Puzzle Isle. It forms a riddle. When they get the correct answer to the riddle and get to Treasure Isle with it, we give them a chance to dig for real buried treasure. So, let's meet our first couple. They're all the way over here from Lufkin, Texas, Carlene and Tony Murphy. Well, welcome. And Tony, what do you do? We're college students. You're both college students. Students usually have uh, some interesting jobs. Uh, either of you ever have one? I saw graveyard plots. Graveyard plots, huh? How'd you do that? Door to door. Door to door. Well, it's uh, better than grave to grave. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Carlene, any other interests? No, but Tony played minor league ball. You did, Tony? That's great. Who'd you play for? For the Cincinnati farm system. You did? And uh, are you still with them now? Yeah, I'm still with them. As a matter of fact, they're paying their way through school. Hey, did you hear that? They're paying their way through school. Let's hear it for the Cincinnati farm system. What position did you play? Second base. Second baseman. How'd you meet? In school, she was flirting with the guy sitting behind me. You were? Yeah. <laughs> and like a good second baseman, he just caught that throw coming in from center field, and uh, I guess it worked out all right, didn't it? It worked fine. <laughs> Very fine. I can see that here. Sage, what's one of the prizes on Treasure Isle today? JBT, it's a console stereo set. Tony, you and Carlene will find this a real major league prize if you get to Treasure Isle and find the right chest, because it's a Seaberg home stereo center. 50 stereo or monaural LP recordings can be programmed at the touch of a dial for hours of completely automatic recorded listening. From Seabird. That's it, JBT. Okay, good luck, Charlie. Okay. See on the party dot. Nice couple. That's couple number one. Here's our second couple. Here's a combination for you from the Bronx, New York, and Lafayette, Louisiana. Would you welcome, please, Pat and Joe Alleman. <laughs> Joe, I know everyone probably asked you this, and I hope I'm right. Isn't there a French enclave in Lafayette, Louisiana? Yes, there is. In fact, uh, I'm a Cajun myself. You're a Cajun. What, what's a Cajun? A Cajun is uh, an American of French descendants. Do you speak French? Sure. Can't you tell by my accent? <laughs> sure. I should have been able to tell. <laughs> Beth, can a girl from the Bronx find happiness with a young, handsome Cajun from Louisiana? Sure. Sure. Oh, well, <laughs> do you have any hobbies? Yes, cooking. What's your What's your specialty? Beanie weenie pie. Beanie weenie pie. <laughs> now, that, that sounds just great. What do you think of her beanie weenie pie, Joe? Oh, <laughs> huh? well, what's that mean? I mean, it's no good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never learn to speak French. Sage, what's another prize on Treasure Isle today? Well, if Joe and Pat had any trouble getting around the Louisiana bayous before, they won't with our next prize, a motorboat. It's Chrysler's new 14-foot charger runabout, comfortably seating four and sturdy fiberglass construction, plus a fiery electric starting 55 horsepower outboard engine featuring a slim, water-cooled head, both from Chrysler Marine Products. And while you're having a boat trailer uh, hitch put on your car, without a hitch, You'll have a free Ford sedan at your disposal from Hertz, the worldwide rent-a-car company that can help with your travel planning wherever you go. Get to Treasure Isle, and it could be yours if you dig up that right chest. That's it, JBT. Okay, Pat Joe, see you on the far as you die. Uh, well, we have a young, handsome Cajun on the show today, and uh, I know a little French. Here are some Très Bon products from Colgate. A tornado! This is North! A white tornado! Watch out! Watch out! A white tornado! It's Ajax liquid. I was gonna clean the...
That green cleaner? It's got ammonia. Smell much ammonia? Smell Ajax. Wow, that is ammonia. Sure. Ajax has lots more ammonia than that green cleaner. Hey, that's great. Ajax has more ammonia. Why don't you go help the painter, dear? Boy, I'd had it with my spray starch. Then proof came along. No clogging. No sticking. I'm dreaming, I said. No gumming up my iron. Proof, where have you been? And it's got soil repellent to help get my wash cleaner. Stains can't set in like they used to. The proof is in the trying. Try new proof spray starch. You'll see the difference. It's a giant inner tube day in our first bay today. As always, the idea is to collect pieces of our great big jigsaw puzzle here. Each piece is worth five seconds of treasure hunting time, and we give a 15-second bonus to the team that gets the most pieces. Uh, Tony, here's our baseball player. You heard about the famous play, uh, Tinkers to Evers the Chance. It's going to be uh, Tony to Carlene to inner tube. Well, I hope. Anyway, it works out. Okay, you have a minute and a half. So, ready, get set, go! <laughs> settle into a dull sameness. Maybe it's you. Maybe gray hair makes you look older, less exciting. Loving Care Hair Color Lotion by Clairol washes gray hair young again. Colors only the gray without changing your natural hair color. Keeps it fresh, lively, so lovely. What would your husband do if suddenly you looked 10 years younger? You'd be surprised what a little loving care can do. Now it's time to put together our jigsaw puzzle. Our yellow team, Tony and Carlene, have 45 seconds. And Tony, I think you're going to be the only second baseman the Cincinnati Reds ever have who wants to play on a rainy day, the way you looked out there. And uh, Pat and Joe, the way you work together, you were right, Pat. You found happiness with Joe, all right? Uh, Pat and Joe are real close behind with 30 seconds of treasure hunting time. A reminder, a quadruple Warburton pays $50 on the spot. A quintuple Warburton pays $100 on the spot. A double Hastings... Pays nothing at all, but brings great honor to your family, and they'll be very proud of you. So, 10 seconds for each piece you get. We start with you, Colleen, because yellow is leading. Ready, get set, go! She's on. Bottom line. Next thing is committed. There's a double history. Keep going. Pour it. Two more. Okay, now get set, go there. 
puzzled after they completed. Flicker found, eyes tricky, another sound, mother sticky. Okay, throw it back and shut and go, Tony. No, no, not there, not there. He's got 10 seconds, 40 for the other. This is 10 seconds. Throw it back, Tony, get shut and hold it, Joe. Joe, you've got to hold it. Okay, now go, Joe. Off you go, 15 seconds. Go, Joe. Set and go, Carlene. Tony's going to be a baseball coach. Sure, I do that. Get your hands off that board, Tony. But you're right. Okay. 50 seconds. For the I don't know. Turn around. Turn around. Get away. Go upside down. Upside down. Go right back to set and go, Pat. Four pieces remaining. A quadruple war. Britain is still possible. She's got ten of it. He's got a double hit. Yeah. Oh, back. Hold it there. Get set. Go, Tony. Two pieces left. He's got something right there. Get it away. Get it away. And he has got the other Okay. Well, that was a good game. Okay, our yellow uh, team now. Total score, you have one minute and 55 seconds of treasure hunting time, if you win, of course. And our red team has one minute and 20 seconds of treasure hunting time if you win. So yellow's pulling out in the lead a little bit. Now we put together our riddle and we formed the riddle. So let's go sit in the sand and see what it says, huh? Boy, is it sandy up here. It's really sandy around here today. You know, I've been getting so much sand on me. I'm beginning to feel like an emery board. <laughs> oh, oh, well, the answer to our riddle is the name of some famous person. Could be real, could be fictional, you have to decide. Now let me conduct, we'll all read it together. Ready? Flicker found. Let's try it again. That was a terrible first line. Let's try it again. Okay, here we go. Flicker found. Good. Eyes tricky. Another sound. Mother sticky. Now, once they know the answer, they can't give it to me here. Not till we get to Treasure Isle. So, everybody into your boats, please. The big race to Treasure Isle. The solution to our riddle today in exactly 60 seconds. Uh oh. Hey, buddy, we need you. Real juicy, real juicy. Butters, do we need you? Hey, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. Good mood of you, Tennessee. Fruit juicy Hawaiian punch. Fruit juicy. <laughs> party. Some party givers have enough problems without making their own appetizers. They depend on instant catering from Chung King. Frozen egg rolls, crisp little vegetables, and succulent shrimp wrapped in flaky crusts. Irresistible all by themselves or with a few dishes on the side. Hot Egg Rolls from Chung King. One bite worth thousand words. Well, we made it this far, and of course, this is the crucial point of the whole game. We decide right now who's going to get a chance to dig for the buried treasure. It's as simple as that. So our yellow team has a minute and 55 seconds of treasure digging time if you win. Red team, a minute and 20 seconds of treasure digging time if you win. Now to win, you gotta know the answer to the riddle, so just turn your heads around, teams, and let me read it again. Flicker found eyes tricky. Another sound, mother sticky. Now, for you at home, here's our super clue. The initials of that famous person. I always like to rub it in a little bit. The kids down here get the answer without the initials there. Girls, now you know that you're the only ones who can ring the bell. We give you five seconds after you ring the bell to shout the correct answer. So, everybody ready? I get set, go! We'll let you see the little board from time to time and the moves. Of course, they come directly here, they get one minute. And just as I say that, I see the yellow board coming directly here. Let's see what we have. Ring them up, what's the answer? No, it's not the Lord for Danny. It is not. 
Take the clue. Red team already has a clue. It's not Little Orphan Annie. That's what she said. Okay, now it looks like about a tie still. Yellow's making up that time at lost. Here's clue number two. Clue number three. Red team is leading by a flag. The answer is in flag number four. The red team's about to pull in there. Okay, now, we don't let you see it at home. That's the real answer she has in her hand there. Here comes the red team in now. And the yellow team is going to try it without taking the first flag. This is one of those races. It's a tie. Coming right in now. Red team knows the answer. Yellow is going to have to guess for it. Let's see what happens. It's going to be yellow's turn first. They better be right. What? The answer is right! The answer is Mr. Magoo! Oh, oh. Yes, you may... Oh, oh, oh. As Mr. Magoo would say... <laughs> you look like Mr. Magoo coming in to win. You're happy. Nice race over there, Joe, anyways. Like the buy one. Okay, we'll be digging with our Cincinnati star second baseman, I hope, in a couple of years, for buried treasure in 60 seconds. Rough and tumble kids get big hurts. Hurts that need new Telfa adhesive pads. Extra big ouchless bandages that need no tape. The adhesive edges stick, but the exclusive Telfa pad doesn't stick to the wound. Ouchless Telfa adhesive pads. And for smaller hurts, Curad the ouchless bandage with the exclusive Telfa pad that doesn't stick to the wound. All bandages guard against dirt, but only one guards against hurt. It's Curad the ouchless bandage. Ouchless bandages, try them. And here's another fine product made by Kendall. Blue Jay Corn Plasters relieve pain instantly. Blue Jay Corn Plasters are deep cushioned. Blue Jay Corn Plasters protect against pressure. Blue Jay Medication acts faster. Blue Jay Corn Plasters stay put. Go to the store and get some. Well, that was one of those real races. You know, the yellow team, your opposition there, came in once, and then they had to gamble on the third one. They couldn't go to the end. Uh, just had to race right in. They got the right answer. Did you know who Mr. McGoo was? No. No idea, <laughs> huh? as the sage would say. Speaking of the sage, we have a great couple here, sage, so what's the prize for them? Well, Pat and Joe, for the little girl in your life, how about a gym set and a backyard swimming pool? Okay. From Spiegel, famous Chicago mail order house, we have for you a super-sized big top gym set with swings, glider, and a slide, plus a 15-foot steel-walled backyard pool, vinyl lined, like my mom, all selected from the Spiegel catalog with its more than 40,000 items. In addition, you folks, as well as Carlene and Tony, will receive a bushel of fresh Florida citrus furnished through the courtesy of Florida citrus growers. That's it, JBT. Nice try, Shane. Uh, when you get home, you're going to make some Beanie Weenie Pine? Yep. <laughs> a lot of housewives wonder, what's in Beanie Weenie Pine? Well, you buy some beans and onion soup and ketchup and hot dogs and mix it all together and bake it in the oven. Sounds too. great. Send me some, will you? <laughs> oh, Joe, you're a lucky man to have Beanie Weenie Pie every week. I can see that. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay, now back to Tony and Carlene. And they holler good luck to you, Tony and Carlene, as they're pulling off there. Now, you got it uh, after uh, three. Did, were you gambling or did you? were you sure you knew? I knew. You knew? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is what you're going for, Tony, right here. All the treasure chests look alike. Just bring them back, and the minute he brings them back, Carlene, you can pull another clue, any order you want now, and some may involve you, so, so be wary. Now, just before we go any further, let me read the riddle for everybody here. You might not know Mr. Magoo. Flicker found means movies, in which this character got his start, of course. Eyes tricky means he's a little bit nearsighted. Another sound, the wonderful actor Jim Backus uh, does his voice. And Mother Sticky, Ma is goo. Wow, that's a pun, huh? <laughs> My goo. Ugh, they don't even like that out here. Now, before we go further yet, let the sage pull out his old electronic spotlight and uh, show you folks at home where one of our home bonus clues is on our compass rose. Sage? Right, JBT. Our electronic spotlight will end up on the compass point clue, leading to one of the two home bonus chests, especially for you at home. And remember, Carlene and Tony, there's that stereo set you wanted, plus the boat and motor buried out there, among many, many other prizes, all totaling thousands of dollars. So, happy hunting. Okay, JBT. 
Okay, Sage, thank you. Tony just said, are you kidding me, all that? No, we're not kidding. That's what's here. Okay, you have two minutes and 25 seconds starting now. Pick north. You picked our ring boy stunt. Okay, Stand here's on the north page. compass point, throw a ball through the treasure aisle life ring, and JBT will give you your clue. You have three chances. Down. You're not playing for... Ooh, ah! Pittsburgh Pirates now. Okay, northwest. A decimal system is based on a certain number. Dig that distance in feet due northwest. Decimal system based on a certain number. Each one of those red uh, marks, Carolina, Tony, uh, uh, is the a black point. Mark, honey. Black, mark. black mark is 10 feet. Make sure he's due northwest. Let me get out of the way here. And you have one chest. Okay, Carlene, grab another one now. Northeast. The girl does this. With your mate, do the Charleston until you get applause, and JBT will give you your clue. Gotta get a clue. They got a clue. Your, your clue is under the weapon used in the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Get you get it. Everybody get it. Which weapon was used in the St. Valentine's Day Massacre? He knew it. Right, a machine gun. He's got it. Now, east. Using the castaway sneaker, measure five sneaker lengths due east from the east compass point to find your treasure. Four men measuring five sneaker lengths. Okay, Tony, make sure you're due east now. He's got it. Okay, southeast now. The number of pockets in a standard pocket billiard table. Dig that number of feet due southeast. Okay, use the rope. How many pockets in a standard billiard table? He's got it fast. Now it's south. Your treasure lies a full six inches under the object Diogenes used to hunt for an honest man. What object did Diogenes use to hunt for an honest man? All right, full six inches under whatever one he used. Any ideas, Carlene? That's six inches, don't forget, Tony. Six inches, wonder whatever one you think it is. You can always pick another clue, but that's up to you. You can pick another clue, up to you. The glasses, go to the glasses. That Diogenes used about everything, I guess. You can pick another one, Carlene. Come on. Okay, pick another one, says Tony. Southwest. Your clue is in the horn of plenty. Oh, read it again. What's it say? Doesn't say, it doesn't say. The clue reads, your chest is at the base of the nearest palm tree. Oh, nearest hey. palm tree, quick, where is it? Oh, Where's the nearest oh, palm tree? Hey. Oh, oh, good. Well, we had a great presentation today. This is the United Red Day. Now, here's a wonderful combination from our friends over there at Cool. Well, that's a nice thing to tell me. I'm your wife. I love you. I'm on your side. That's why I tell you you've got perspiration odor. I use a deodorant. Well, oh, you need more. You need palm olive gold deodorant soap. Palm olive gold has more hexachlorophene to stop odor than any other leading deodorant soap. Great fragrance, too. You mad at me? Nah. <laughs> palm olive gold. Margie. That's the ugliest tube I ever saw. Relax. We're doing the ugly tube test. Oh? How's the test work? Disguise the new tube of Colgate and any other leading brand. After 10 days, which one really looks used? Colgate. Give kids a choice. Most kids brush with Colgate. Anti-cavity Colgate. Compared to the leading fluoride, Colgate's unsurpassed in reducing new cavities. Make the ugly tube test in your home with anti-cavity Colgate. That's beautiful. Just to be fair to Tony, I'd like to mention here, it's been, what, a couple of months since you played baseball, right? And second basemen don't usually play baseball on a treasure island anyway. <laughs> it's been a while since the old arm has been used. Where did you think Diogenes, what did he use to, to find an honest man, did you think first there? I thought the telescope first. Yeah, then You know where it was? I, I can't tell what it was, but you didn't dig, it. we might use that again. <laughs> you didn't dig a full six inches under what it was. Come around this afternoon later and I'll show you what to dig under a full six inches. You came close though. Well, anyway, we got some nice prizes. Here's Northeast and just read it out, Carlene. Let's see what you got. A pair of watches and a tape recorder. Right, from West Fox. His and hers. Crown line waterproof wristwatches. Carlene's has a luminous dial and sweep second hand. Tony's is a calendar watch in a gold colored case from West Clocks, a division of General Time Corporation. Plus, I'm not finished yet, a Ross Electronics cassette cartridge tape recorder featuring push button operation, battery and record level indicator, tape scale window, and remote control mic. Now, here's East, hand it up, Bonnie, thank you, and Carlene, thank read you. this one out. Okay, what's it say? 
some luggage and some slacks. Right, a three-piece set of fashionably designed American tourister luggage, reinforced with fiberglass, and the red, white, and blue American tourister ID tag for easy identification. Carlene's applauding here. <laughs> Plus, that's fine. Plus, a wardrobe of lean look permanent press casuals oh, by Carwood. Yeah. Action ready so? fashion right slacks, <laughs> jeans and walking shorts, cited by Esquire magazine as the year's fashion forerunners. They'll just everybody will be looking at you in the street. <laughs> okay, southeast. And we have a home bonus chest. Good. What do you have, Carlene? Some silver flatware. For you and the person at home, a gracious 76 piece set of silver plate oh, flatware no. from the Michael C. Fina Company oh. of New York City. A marvelous gift. Really nice. We're not finished yet. Don't st stop applauding oh. now. Here you go. That's oh, it. an automatic dryer. Right, so Nord, a heavy-duty automatic dryer with four drying cycles for all fabrics, super capacity, full-width hamper door, exclusive stop-and-dry action, and years from now, Carlene, I guarantee you'll be writing me a letter saying you're glad it's a Nord. <laughs> now, somebody at home won what? Oh, that nice flatware in Reno, Nevada. I'll tell you who you are in one minute. How do you feel about cold water washing, Mrs. Smith? I like it. Yeah, there's cold power. Cold power, the heavy-duty laundry powder that gets out the worst kind of dirt in cold water. Why did you try cold power? Well, with kids and all the colored clothes we wear here in California, hot water fading can be a real problem. So I tried cold power, and it worked. What about really dirty things, Mrs. Smith? Well, my son's a specialist at getting dirty. These jeans were caked with mud. But look at them now. Clean. I didn't do a thing extra, just tossed them in the washer with cold power. Do you use it only for colored things? Oh no, everything. Shirts, towels. Look how clean this pillow slip is. What about germs in cold water? Well, I understand cold power germ proofs. It's true. Laboratory tests have shown that cold power actually germ proofs in cold water. So try cold power. Germ proofs and gets out the worst kind of dirt in cold water. I found out uh, Connie was telling me Tony can really use those clothes. You had, had them stolen on your trip down here, huh? Well, now you have a whole wardrobe again now. Now, our home bonus chest goes to Mr. and Mrs. Charles Houston, or Houston, 2881 Rondell Way in Reno, Nevada. You won the Michael C. Fina Silverware. Thank you for entering. Now, everybody else, at the 15th of every month, we rip up all the cards. So keep yourself eligible. You can send in as many postcards as you want. Just Put your name and address on everyone. Be sure to do that. Some people forget. And mail them to Treasure Isle, Colonnades Beach Hotel, Palm Beach Shores, Florida, and put on the zip code. It will help the post office, 33404. Thank you. This is John Bartholomew Tucker. Don't forget now when you get near home, you got a slide. And uh, bye, Sage. Goodbye, JVT. And goodbye from Treasure Isle. Treasure Isle has been brought to you today by the Colgate Palm Olive Company, makers of such fine products as Ajax All-Purpose Cleaner, cleans like a white tornado, and by Cold Power, gets out the worst kind of dirt in cold water, germ-proofs too. This program was pre-recorded. ABC Sports brings you live and exclusive three-day coverage of the U.S. Open Golf Championship beginning Friday night at 8, 7 o'clock Central Time, in color, here on ABC.